welcome to Steph Time. Today I'm going to show you how I block printed my favorite plants onto this me made thrifted linen jumpsuit. I've already cut out my pattern pieces, so we're ready to go. All right, now that we've got our pattern pieces cut, we are going to block print our fabric. I carved these rubber stamp blocks from paintings. Some of them are from paintings I did of plants and some of them are just from pictures, but it was surprisingly easy. Um, I'll insert some clips of me carving them now. Oh, and I also want to show you some of my first block cuts. I made a bunch of these kind of semicircles that look really cute in a pattern. So don't think that if you know this is something that interests you that it has to be super intricate. Definitely doesn't have to, and the results are really cute. So I encourage you to try it. I think you'll enjoy that. You want a piece of glass. I got one from a picture frame. Just be careful because this one has a couple of broken edges. You just want to be very careful with this. You will also need a brayer. It's, I mean, it's not totally necessary. I think that you could do without it, but it's definitely going to help you get a very even distribution of paint on your stamp. I'm using the Speedball Fabric Block Printing Ink in opaque white. I really wanted to show up. Also like to use something to roll across the back. You can use a dry brayer or just something round. You can use this clip thing or a candle. So I will be using that. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how I did it. Let's do it. Put some paint down here. Gonna kind of Spread it out so that we don't have like a big old glob. And if you've ever um, painted a wall with a roller, this is very similar in my opinion. I just want to kind of roll it until you have even amount of paint on your brayer. You're going to choose your stamp. I'm going to use this Maranta. Just going to roll that paint onto the stamp. Make sure there's a nice thick coating. I would definitely recommend trying this out on a scrap piece of fabric beforehand. Um, all right, and then we're just gonna place it down on the fabric. This is kind of like the inside of the pocket, so there's a little bit of this that'll show. So you won't be able to see this whole print and I'm not gonna print the entire piece but I think it'll look cool kind of peeking out. Just gonna roll that on there. And then we're gonna hold the fabric down and pull up on our stamp. Voila, we have a stamp. Yay, this is all I'm gonna do on this piece again because I'm not gonna even be able to see that whole thing. So I'm gonna do the same to the other pocket. So another option is to block print your entire piece of fabric before you cut into it, which I thought about, but I just didn't really want to have a large piece of fabric on my floor or whatever and have to like lean over to print. This worked out for the amount of space I had and I kind of had more control over where my pieces ended up, but you kind of have to fake some of the edges. So you'll want to like print over some edges to make it seem like it was cut like that, or you don't have to, but I think it helps it to kind of look more natural. And then you'll want to do that to the rest of your pieces. So to begin, I would recommend that you start on the pattern pieces that are going to be seen the least. So these are the pocket linings and I'm using this as a, just a little bit more practice to get a feel for the pressure I need to be using as well as the ink I need to be using. So I'm gonna continue to use, you know, try out my stamps on the lesser seen pieces of fabric before we move on to pieces like the bodice, which are gonna be seen quite often. So I wanted to make sure I really knew what I was doing before I started on this one. 
turns out that you know when you find the right ink and the right pressure the print is immaculate so I would definitely recommend doing lots of practice before you go in on your garment fabric the legs of the pants are just as important as the bodice. And as you can see here, my stamps, after quite a bit of use, began to get clogged up in the, um, the crevasses of it. So what I would recommend doing is getting a toothpick or a um, wall tack or something to kind of scrape the paint out of those lines, those fine lines, so that you can get a really clean print as you go. So this last bit and this last little stamp was actually just an extra little piece off of one of my other stamps and I was just gonna throw it away, but I ended up making this um, string of pearls. One of my inspirations from Instagram named Miriam Sows, who does a lot of block printing, calls this her motif. And she does a lot of more abstract motifs, if you will, um, but it just really helps to fill out the blank spaces and just a smaller print, just kind of ties it all together. And as you can see, I use small, medium, and large block prints for my kind of theme. And it should look something like this. So these are my two front legs. It'll look like this on my body. Um, but this will wash off with soap and water. So. Whenever I'm done, I just kind of let these soak in the sink and then I will wash them off. I use kind of like an old toothbrush to make sure all the ink is out of the crevasses. Um, and I recommend that you do the same. So I'm gonna go wash these and I'll be right back. All right, I've got those soaking. Let's jump into sewing. <laughs> so while I'm making a jumpsuit with my block printed fabric, Know that you can make anything with block printed fabric. You can block print bags, you can block print face masks even. I wanted to show you guys this technique so you could incorporate it in your various projects.